On March 29th, rapper Flo Rider's son was sent to the ICU after suffering a tragic fall. You all have told me that he abandoned. I don't know much about his past with this woman, but you all are saying that he abandoned his child and the mother of his child. And from what it is that I read in the report, she was in a building that had such poor maintenance that they had this broken child rail guards, other maintenance issues that were not taken care of in the building. This is part of the reason why people advocate for these stars who have all of this money that the child support that they pay be in alignment with the lifestyle of the father. So here we have this superstar whose child was living in such impoverished conditions that they didn't have proper rails on the window. So his child will read it for you. It says, according to the Hudson Daily Voice, Flo Rida's six-year-old son has sustained critical injuries after falling five stories from a window. Now the child's mother plans to come after the building for negligence. And it says when Zohar Dillard hit the pavement from the fifth floor, he suffered shattered pelvis, metatarsal fractures, a grade three liver laceration, internal bleeding, and collapsed lung. His mother, Alexis Adams had placed the building at fault for being negligent and not installing sized guards on their windows, leading to the unfortunate incident. Adams is seeking compensation to cover the treatment of her son's injuries. As a single mom to a special needs child, this feels like a nightmare, Adams stated. My heart is broken into a million pieces. It is devastating to see my child go through so much pain and trauma, knowing that this could have been avoided. Dillard was diagnosed with autism and a brain condition. Keep him in your prayers. So I'm like, these men, they don't understand the importance of these types of men, not all men, because some men out there are doing the right thing, but these types of men may not understand the importance of having your child live a lifestyle akin to what it is that you can provide. Like what type of person would want to see their child living in the conditions where the building does doesn't even have proper rails to protect the child. I wanted to do this segment real quick because I want people to really think about, because you know, when we start hearing these large numbers for what some people are receiving in child support, yeah, let them get that so that they can be in safe environments. Yeah, let them get that. What is the alternative? Like, how do you as a person feel comfortable knowing that you're living a certain way and your child is in some rickety apartment where the building is negligent and he's not even safe? And that's just inside the building. Imagine what it's like outside. I just, I, I want us to start having more intelligent dialogue, more nuanced dialogue about these child support situations because it's like, oh, I don't want her spending money on nails and bags and all this other stuff. You know that your child requires money to live. You know that your child is inhabiting space inside of a home or an apartment. You know that your child needs things to stay alive, to eat, to roof over his head, clothes, which children grow out of their close every six months, you know that it costs money for your child to live. So if you see her with her nails done or hair done, just know that your child is still incurring costs. You don't know what money she used for her hair and nails. And it's like, come on, the pittances of that. Look at the big picture. The big picture is are you willing to pay for an apartment that is nice enough for your child to be safe? Even if you're not with the child's mother anymore, are you willing to also cover her half of the rent because your child is the other half? Are you willing to pay for the half of the rent of the person who is the full-time caregiver for your child? This situation is tragic in so many ways. And listen, I don't know the full circumstances of all of that. You all can discuss it in the comments. But what I do know is that his child was in an apartment that was grossly negligent, according to the mother, that the rails the guard on the window wasn't even large enough or big enough to be able to protect the child. And now who is it that's suffering? It's like they want to see their seed get into the world. But that's a fragment of a 30 year journey because at 18, your child is not ready to go out there into the world on its own. So it's like getting the child into the world is a small part of the journey. This is a lifelong journey of your family tree. 
Don't you want your child to be safe? Don't you want your child to have the best of food, the best of tutors, the best of nannies? Don't you want that for your child? Even if it means that a woman that you no longer have sexual access to also benefits from the apartment or the home that your child lives in. Are you willing to do that to make sure that your child is safe? This is why I fully and wholeheartedly support that man who kicked the dude out of his car because he was a deadbeat dad. It's like, how do you roll with a man like this who is not ensuring that his child is living in conditions akin and on par to what he would be afforded if he lived with him? Come on. Or if the mother and he were still together. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.